اور اس کے ساتھ ہی آج کی اس تقریب میں ہم چونکہ آج دوسری برسی ہے جو اے پی ایس پشاور کے شہدا ہیں آخر میں ہم ان کے لیے بھی قرآن خانی کریں گے جو فضائی حادثے میں لوگ جان بھگ ہوئے ہیں ان کے لیے بھی اور باقی بھی بہت سے مواقع پہ پاکستان میں جو لوگ شہید ہوئے ہیں ان سب کے لیے انشاءاللہ آخر میں ہم دعا کریں گے تو سامعی اکرام جو رشت و ہدایت کا سلسلہ حضرت آدم سے شروع ہوا اور حضرت نو سے ہوتا ہوا رسول پاک تک آیا تو یہ وہی ایک پیغام تھا جس کو سورہ تین میں کہا کہ یہ کوہ زیتون سے جو حضرت عیسیٰ نے پیغام دیا اور جو, جو کوہ تور سے حضرت موسا نے پیغام دیا وہی پیغام کو رسول پاک نے مکہ سے دیا اور اس سلسلہ میں جیسے میں نے عرض کیا کہ حضرت عیسیٰ علیہ السلام کا یوم ولاد بھی پوری دنیا میں پچیس کو منایا جا رہا ہے حضرت عیسیٰ کے بارے میں قرآن حکیم نے وہ فورٹی نائن بائی تھری میں حضرت عیسیٰ نے فرمایا کہ میں ایسی قوم کی تعمیر کروں گا کہ اس قوم کو اندھیروں سے اور موت سے حیات کی طرف لے کے جاؤں گا اور پھر انہوں نے ان کی زبانی قرآن حکیم کی آیت ہے کہ انہوں نے اپنا ذکر کیا حضرت عیسیٰ نے اور کہا کہ بس سلام والا یوم والد و یوم امت و یوم آبس و حیا کہ میرے پیدا ہونے والے دن پہ بھی سلام میرے دنیا سے تشریف لے جانے والے دن پہ بھی سلام اور جس دن میں دوبارہ جاؤں گا اٹھایا جاؤں گا اس دن پر بھی سلام تو اس قرآن حکیم کی آیت سے یہ ایک مفہوم آتا ہے کہ جو انبیاء اکرام دنیا میں تشریف لاتے ہیں یا یہ تشریف لے جاتے ہیں وہ دونوں دنوں پہ سلام ہوتا ہے اسی حوالے سے یہ عید میں لاد النبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی تقریب خار رسول پاک کی ولادت کا دن ہو یا ان کے دنیا سے تشریف لے جانے کا دن ہو یا ہجرت کا دن سے کوئی فرق نہیں پڑتا کیونکہ مقصد ایک ہی ہے کہ ہم رسول پاک صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سے اپنی محبت کا اظہار کرتے ہیں درود و سلام کے ہم پھول نچھاور کرتے ہیں اور کوشش کرتے ہیں کہ ہماری زندگی اس اس وائے حسنا کے مطابق ہو جو جس کو اللہ تعالیٰ نے معیار مقرر کیا ہے اب حضرت عیسیٰ علیہ السلام کا جیسا ہم ذکر کر رہے تھے ہمارے مسیحی دوست جناب امین مراتق صاحب موجود ہیں وہ محقق ہیں وہ جرنلسٹ ہیں انہیں سیرت النبی صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم کی کتاب کے صدارتی انعام بھی مل چکا ہے میں ان سے گزارش کرتا ہوں کہ وہ تشریف لائیں اور اپنے خیالاتی عالیہ سے ہمیں مستفید فرمائیں جناب امین مراتق صاحب شکریہ جناب سب سے پہلے تو میں آپ سب کو عید مراد النبی مبارک کہوں گا اور جناب عبد الحدیز سفیر جناب طارق رمی صاحب کا شکریہ سمی میں دل سے ادا کروں گا کہ وہ جو ہے وہ اتنے ایسے مگن ہیں آئے تو وہ سفیر ہمارے ملک کے لیکن مذہب میں اور دین کے فروغ کے لیے جو جذبہ ان میں پایا جاتا ہے میں نے پہلے نہیں کبھی دیکھا اب میں تو کبھی سفارت خانوں میں ادھر ادھر جاتا نہیں لیکن ان کی وجہ سے ان کی پرکشش سیرت کی وجہ سے کچھ پرکشش شخصیت کی وجہ سے میں یہاں آیا جناب کسانہ صاحب یہ بھی بہت بڑے موقع ہیں آئی شوڈ اسپیک سم ورڈس ان انگلش ایز ویل بیکاز سویڈ اسپیپل آر سیٹنگ کیئر آئی جسٹ گریٹ دیم دا عید میں کنگریچولیشن آن دا ہولی برتھ آن دا برتھ آف دی ہولی پرافٹ محمد اینڈ دین آئی ہیو تھینک دا امبیسڈر ہیز ہائی نیس he doesn't say his highness himself but god has given him glory and respect that we must also we who are his must respect him the people who are his must respect the respect begins from home so if we don't respect it so we should allah and god may add more respect in his personality and the office he is holding here he is a real bridge between Christians, Muslims, and even Hindus. And he is the true follower of Muhammad, the prophet, peace be upon him. And Kasana Sahib also, he is a great scholar, and he is a commander in Urdu, I always respect. And when Tariq Zamir is alone, I'm not so happy, because his, his wife is equally so respectful, so loving, that I cannot forget. This is not only to flatter him. I am not in the habit of flattering a person. I say what I feel. So, let us come to the subject. Could you give me? What is up? I am a So, I don't read. I am not in the habit of reading paper. So, I just say what I feel in my heart. So I read the Holy Quran every day and the Bible since I am Christian. So this book has, I have gone to the Muslim school from my childhood. 
and my father, I have pictures, but uh, it's no need to just uh, give uh, glorify them too much there. I have too much there in my bag. But uh, my father was headmaster of a primary school in Sargoda. We are from Sargoda. And then, you see, I went one year in Garden College there. I am the only child. Uh, the ambassador, Leonard ambassador, is from Rabalpindi. So I mentioned and Garden College. College. And huh? Garden College. Of course. Are you, <laughs> you know that. Yeah. And then later on my mother, I am the only child, they didn't want that I should remain there far away. So they called me back and I joined Demont Pranancy College, Sargoda. It was known before Demont Pranancy, the Governor General. Now it is called only Governor College, Sargoda. Then from my childhood, I have studied Arabic as an elective subject in the school. It was only I, I am the only Christian who was studying there. Thousands of Muslims were there, students, my, my class, class fellows. My teachers were all Muslim, none of them was Christian. But they taught me the Quran from the beginning, and they taught me Arabic, and I inculcated, inculcated in me the interest for the Holy Book of Muhammad, and uh, love Muslims so much that I have no Christian friend except Rul. And, uh, and and Elizabeth. So a few friends here, not so many, many many Christians are living here. I am hardly, I see them. But uh, of course that is not to hate them. We are all one. Prophet Muhammad coming back to the subject. So cutting short, uh, too much tall story about myself. I should say that Prophet Muhammad as Dr. Kisana has said, is not a cut off series from um, other prophets. And uh, Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan, the founder of Aligarh Muslim University, has written a very, very thick book which is called Kutbat e Ahmadiyya. Kutbat e Sir Sayyid. I have it with me in my bag. And that is a rare book on the life story of Muhammad. There are many books. I have 6,000 books in my place there. You could not remember. Most of them are rare. You cannot buy them. But that's the only thing I have. I have no more, no car, nothing, no transport, Rulf only drives me around, but I have books only. That's the possession which I think. And through books, you learn a lot. And there, what I was saying is this, that uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad, he was not a cut off from all other prophets. He said, Ana sabi sab na Mere paas wo likhi hadith bhi hai. Dekhna chahe baad mein mein dekhas ko. Phir कि कुरान में एक जगह है कि भाई वो जो है मैं कोई अकेला बिना मिनर रुसल नहीं हूँ कोई नई निराली बात लेकर नहीं आया उन्होंने वही पैगाम जो नू डॉक्टर किसान ने फरमाया उसी को अरबी ज़बान में अपनी कम के लिए दरा उनकी सीरत पर तो बहुत कुछ लिखा जा सकता मैंने लिखा भी है कई किताबें मैंने लिखी तारक जमीर साहब से वादा किया था कि एक मैं दिखाऊंगा मैं दिखाता नहीं कहते नहीं ये राज हर राज ना से लेकिन इनसे मैंने ये किया कि इतने तो ये प्रोफेटिक कैटाक्लिज्म है एक दूसरी पहले इससे मैंने लिखी थी उसका नाम था इलम स्प्रेडिंग लाइफ जिस पर मुझे अवार्ड मिला था और उसमें 28 मुसलमान थे जिन्होंने शिरकत की और मैं क्रिश्चियन था वो मैंने 10 15 दिन में वो किताब लिखी और वो उस वक्त उमदी में तस्वीर भी वहां है जियाउल हक उस वक्त थे आप में से कई उनको ना पसंद करते होंगे लेकिन उन्होंने से कोई आदमी परफेक्ट नहीं कोई आप नवाज शरीफ को ना पसंद करें ये हम इस बहस में नहीं उलझे जो उनकी पॉजिटिव चीज है वो देखते हैं कि उन्होंने क्या कुछ पॉजिटिव किया कोई शख्स दुनिया में अल्लाह ताला के बगैर जो है मुझे दावा नहीं कर सकता ही इज परफेक्ट एवरीबॉडी इज एरिंग एंड हैज शॉर्ट कमिंग्स तो ये किताब जो है ये मैंने 15 मिनट की दरखास्त की हुई इनसे तो इस किताब में मैंने रसूल पाक की जिंदगी के सब पहलुओं पर बहस की है पहले तो किस कौम में मौजूद हुए व्हिच नेशन ही वाज रेज्ड एज अ प्रॉफिट तो दे वर इग्नोरेंट दिस एज वाज कॉल्ड डार्क एज दौर जाहिलिया किसाना साहब उर्दू की बात करो बता जमील साहब हां बिल्कुल दौर जाहिलिया असरे जालिया तो असरे जालिया में क्यों वो असरे जालिया था कि उस वक्त जो काबा था अब रबी का ये मौसम है 
और रबी का मौसम से मुझे बड़ी क्योंकि जब मुझे अवार्ड मिला उस किताब पर तो वो रबी ही का मौसम था यौम मिला ही था और उस वक्त को तो रबी काबा को नस्बत इन बुतों से दूर की मैं शायद नहीं हूं लेकिन तो बंदी कर लेता हूँ मिस बेगम तारक जमीन ने मुझे कहा कि आपकी तुक बंदी जो है वो भी शायरी से कम नहीं <laughs> तो उस समय मुझे हौसला हो गया कि मैं कर सकता हूँ जमील साहब भी बैठे हो तो भी मैं कुछ ना कुछ कह रहा जमील साहब के साथ भी मेरे आई हैव पर्सनल रिलेशन विद हिम एंड इज फैमिली एंड एवरी टाइम दे इनवाइट मी नो ओकेजन आई हैव यू सी आई रिमेंबर when they have arranged something and they have not invited me there and rules is our part of our family too he is driving around eric is there he is also he is he is working in ericson he was radio engineer very generous person they came here to speak in english so that they could also understand so the question is the prophet of muhammad has been looked by many people with different critics have looked upon him too many scholars have written christians where big scholars are william yor has written thomas carlyle has written springer has written and many many historians have given has written many historians have tried to look at the life of the holy prophet of muhammad i have all those books with me but they sir sayyid has read and listen to that and sir sayyid went all read go and listened he was not a first hand english speaking but great scholar i have his picture here in my bag great scholar and well wisher of muslims he said unless muslims are educated they cannot have any status in the world education is the key to success if you are not educated then you are nothing yeah so is is uh, therefore it is important that we put focus on education and prophet muhammad he said ikra bi ismi rabbi ka pehli jo aayi thi pad to padhna jo hai wo khud to pad nahi sakte the lekin jibril ne ye kaha ikra bi ismi rabbi ka us par aur jo ye ye jo hai qurane paak jo hai iski arbi itni zyada hai main abhi kuch chuke janta hu is waste iski arbi ka koi masal nahi bana sakta ye sirf dawa hi nahi hai surah ko sakta balkay aaj tak मैं मैं अरबी हूं लेकिन मैं ऐसी अरबी नहीं लिख सकता जो कुरने पा कोई बड़ा बड़े से बड़ा स्कॉलर आप ले आए वो क्रिश्चियन हो मुसलमान हो उसे कहें कि कुरान की एक सूरत जैसी एक आयत जैसी कोई सूरत बना ले नहीं बना सकता ये भी एक दायमी मोर्जा है जो उनको रसूल पाक को अता हुआ मेरे कल मेरे कल ए पर्सन हु इज नॉट हैज नॉट गॉन टू स्कूल हैज रिटर्न ही हैज नॉट रिटर्न हिम सेल्फ बट द पीपल हु से दैट इट इज रिटर्न बाय हिम सो that can that's not possible because he was he didn't go to school he had no knowledge of uh, uh, books knowledge but uh, the thing which is written this book this is a book which is uh, which can if you open and you would know arabic then you would know that this says something to you it's a, it is the pattern of eloquence when the time is over you can tell <laughs> my heart you see in the life of prophet muhammad is the truth before he became prophet he 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 was known the truthful sadiq the second thing was amin trustworthy these two qualities you see he started his career khadija sent an offer that he should be married with her because she could not trust is the person who would write something different in the account Uh, and the, she she was a merchant and she hired him to uh, drive his her camels and uh, do be do the managing work of her business so that is because of his truth truthfulness and his trustful trustworthiness that's most important thing if we know everything about muhammad the prophet if we know everything about the quran if we have 6000 books as i have and do not speak the truth who will trust you rule will not trust me he will not drive me around he must know that i am trustworthy and he believes me <coughs> so that is important the first lesson we should learn from his life is to speak the truth that is what i have come to say to you that whatever you are if you my mother used to say that a person is a kind of amusing story that a person a young person was you see 
ask for to be wed somewhere. And they, then the people who were against that boy, they said, oh, the boy is very bad because he is a liar. Uh, he, he is a, a thief. And the, the people who, where he was supposed to marry, they said, it's okay. They said, no, it's not only thief, but he is a Dukai too. Oh, Dukai too. Oh, then he is an alcoholist also, drinks also. Oh, is this so? Oh, then they said, oh, everything. But uh, then uh, they said, uh, the, the in law said, supposed in law said, does he tell lie? They said, no. That is right. Oh, no, then it is, it is accepted. My mother said that if somebody does not tell lie, that's enough that he is a good person or she is a good person. So it's important that we learn this habit and this uh, kind of uh, our next nature should come to tell the truth, whatever it is. So that is the lesson I learned from the Holy Prophet's life. And then what he said that he did not bring any new message to the world. Because Sir Sayyid, in his book, Khutbat e Amriya, which I have there, he said that people in the sentiments and love have uh, lost the real purpose of the thing. And some hadiths, ahadiths, I have many books on ahadiths also, every book I have. But uh, they said they glorify him too much. And uh, without the sira which is mentioned in the Quran, they, that, that is enough. Mani e Quran, the Quran pursubas, aapko buddha I told my friend Kasana one time in a sitting that uh, Jalaluddin Rumi said, Mani e Quran, the meaning of the Quran should be asked from the Quran. Not from me, not from Tariq Zabir Sahib, not from Rul, but <laughs> asked from the Quran itself. It explains each other. So this was the, the Sirat. Not much is written there, but uh, one or two verses are so comprehensive that he tells all about it, that all about it, that uh, he never told lie when the, the infidels and his own relatives came to him, that uh, he, he called them. First, he, the, when the verse revealed to him, Pum, Fanzur, rise and Anzar, and say, convey my message. Warm your so he he what for himself he was fit to be talked to by Gabriel. So unless you are fit yourself, then God cannot trust you. That uh, speaks to you directly. Gabriel cannot uh, trust you. No uh, people uh, uh, sitting around you will trust you because that is the only thing which we have to quit and say goodbye to life. So if everybody has that habit, so the Prophet Muhammad's life gives him example that he should not tell lies, whatever it is. <coughs> the second thing was that when he said, he started the thing, stand, rise, different translation, and warn your family, yourself and your family. First started from the family. So if I say something, I don't say to my son Samuel, that uh, don't, I don't start with him, not with my daughter who lives in New York nowadays, and I, I must start with them. I must first start with myself. And if I am smoking, and I say to my son, I heard that sometimes he smokes. You know? And my grandchild Taha, his name, is married to a Muslim girl. Uh, her name is, uh, you see, Khadija. And uh, the child together, they have, uh, his name is Taha. So Taha, Taha tell me Papa Roker. Eh? So my father is, <laughs> then I told him that <laughs> you are smoking sometimes. I said, he's a probate, you know, I said, your son. I said, told me. So if you cannot set a good example before your children, before your daughters, before your grandchildren, if you are doing the same thing. So it's important that Prophet Muhammad set a good example in, in, in his family. And uh, Khadija uh, invited him to be married. Uh, she was a rich lady. She could be married to many other people. But uh, she trusts because of her trustworthiness. The second thing is that th this message, is uh, th the name of the book is Cataclysm. Some people don't understand Cataclysm. Cataclysm is roughly used, commonly used for destruction. But when I looked into the Oxford Dictionary, it says complete revolution. <laughs> 
So he brought complete revelation in the world. So that's what, uh, so it's uh, not much time that I could uh, take all the contents of this book and the other book which is written. But the thing which uh, he, you see, the message of the prophet to all of us is that we should love each other. He was forgiving. My friend Tariq Zamir, he told me to speak about the ethics and what are his habits. His habits were simple. He, he was not luxurious. And he was uh, all the time simple living and uh, not uh, gathering money, you see, and uh, putting it together. So it's no wrong harm with that. If you have to collect out money and you have to live, then it's uh, nothing bad with that. But he, to love money as your idol, and 365 idols in Kaaba, that makes you apart, uh, far away from God. So Prophet Muhammad set an example, Salam us par ke jis mein Badshahi mein fakiri thi. Oh, he was a ruler of Medina state, but he didn't uh, lust for money and didn't uh, use, and he, even his uh, followers, companions, they never uh, looked for money. They were carrying first four caliphs, if you read their history, uh, the, the history of caliphate, you will read that they acted upon what Muhammad the Prophet has said to them and told them and sat by his example. If he has not set his example before them, then they are not going, they could be more into. So when, when we, they, they won't look at his example. But the prophets, the companions, who looked close by, and they, I had one book here, it is not available, I will ask Rolf to borrow that, it's in the parliament house. So the book is called 100 Tens, 100 famous people in the world. So the first name is of Muhammad. I wonder that the author is Christian and his name is Michael Hart. And uh, he wrote hunt, the, the Hundred, the only short title. Yes. And it is not available, but he said the, the speciality of Prophet Muhammad is that his life is in the broad daylight. You know how he slept. You know he, he walked. You know uh, what did he eat. You know, you know how, how did he chat with people, how did he laugh. And so everything, every detail is preserved. No other prophet, uh, no other, even Christ the great, our, we say him the best of all, and uh, we say the word of God. But uh, the hidden life of Christ, there's another book. So we written by Russo. Russo the Russian atheist, he has written the hidden life of Christ. Many 33 years life is not so known in the broad light as is the life of the Prophet of Muhammad. So that is also the quality of the Prophet. So we should uh, liberally and we should uh, with open heart admit each other's uh, characteristics. So even though we don't differ with each other, Kusana might have another belief, Tariq Zameer might have another belief. My friend uh, Jamil Asa might have another bridge, and great scholar sitting close by, he, he might have another uh, belief. And uh, Elizabeth has totally different belief. And Ruth, who does not believe in anything, but he sings. <laughs> <laughs> but we should love each other. Oh. And what the second teaching he told, Lapum Dinapum Valayati. You have your religion uh, to, his, uh, to his relatives. They were in feeders. They were not believing him. And they tried to persecute him. So it's a why you persecute him. I say God is one. And if you believe it's well and good, if you don't believe, you keep on worshipping 365 every every idol for a day. 365 idols. And I have a history of Hiti, no much time. And because I could tell you that how superstitious the society was that everybody had four, four stones together. When they traveled, as Rolf carries my bag and that gentleman, new friend carries my bag, but uh, they, they used to carry four stones. Everybody, Bengal society carried four stones. Three for making uh, food when they are in the wilderness and one for worshiping, the same. <laughs> wash that one stone, Wash that one stone with the, the milk of the sea camel. And then suddenly this is this is good and we should worship that. So that idol worshipping society. 
a prophet said to them that there is only one God, La ilaha illallah. That was the first message. That is the focus. That, they, that we should believe that there is one God. There is one God, creator of the universe. Many people in Western society, they don't believe that there is any creator of the universe. I'm not sure about that gentleman who is sitting in Deen Mama Chaudhary. Are you Deen Mama Chaudhary? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> but, <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 wonderful. So this is the thing we, we need to, you see, get close to this passage and practice this message that we should speak truth and we should love, even we differ with the people. So may God bless you. I could speak much and much and mm -hmm. write another book. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mr. Tassana is now fat, fat up now. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very thankful to you, uh, not yes. only for delivering a very comprehensive lecture, Thank but you. also speaking in English, because we have some of the people, uh, they don't understand our uh, language, but uh, we have formulated this uh, program, this day we are celebrating uh, the birthday of our beloved Holy Prophet uh, Muhammad, peace be upon him, and also the birthday of Jesus Christ, and uh, the founder of Pakistan, uh, Amir Jinnah, his birthday is on 25th of uh, this month and last month. Uh, we had the birthday of a uh, great uh, philosopher and the poet of East, Dr. Sir Iqbal. So this uh, program is uh, 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 have different uh, dimensions and I'm thankful uh, once again to you uh, Thank you, that uh, well, you, you was uh, good enough uh, to uh, give the information in English and I think the audience here, uh, they will be uh, informed.